folks, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we are back out in the lakes. This time we're in Estale. So we've uh, hired a, one of these glamping pods for a couple of nights. And I thought this was a prime opportunity to get out around the Estale area on a vlog for a bit of an adventure, see if we can get some nice shots today. The weather today is a bit grey again, but there's got a bit of mood knocking about, so I'm hoping for some decent pictures. So me and June have uh, started the walk towards is it Tongue Pot, where there's a bit of a waterfall and a kind of a pool to swim in. Depending on the temperature of the water, we might go for a swim or we might just dip our toe in. <laughs> so yeah, let's see how we get on. But yeah, like I said, the, the weather isn't perfect for photos, but there is a bit of low cloud bringing that mood, which is always good. So yeah, let's see if we can get some nice pictures today. And if not, it's a bit of a recce to go explore somewhere new again, which is always nice. So yeah, let's, uh, let's crack on. So straight away, first five minutes of this walk, I'm really impressed. The views are stunning. And then you've got the river just behind me now, trickling away. I don't know if the mic's picking that up, but just nice and quiet, tranquil. And there's me and you ruin it by vlogging. <laughs> and from looking at the map, it looks like it's just a straight forward walk along the water's edge, all the way up to the Tongue Pot Pool, or whatever it's called. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I've got Herdies to my right. Herdy. River to my left and mountains in front of me. What else could you want from the lakes? Even that moods here, which is good for photos, is clinging on. I'm hoping by the end of the walk we'll get some good pictures of not only the uh, the waterfall and the swimming area, but also the surrounding fells, because there is some beautiful scenery around here. Very impressed. As we're walking up towards the Tongue Pot area, I'm starting to think, do I go for a swim? Is it warm enough? And how cold is that water going to be? So, <laughs> I don't know yet. We're only, like say, 10 minutes, 15 minutes into the walk, but I do fancy going for a swim. But I know that I'm probably going to dip my toe in. And it's going to be way too cold and I'm a big wuss and bottle it. <laughs> but I'm thinking, if I'm going to put a vlog out on this walk, the pressure's on to get in that water. So. We'll see, I'll let you know as the walk goes on if I'm gonna do it or not. Apologies in advance as well if I start looking a bit dishevelled on <laughs> this walk and in a bit of a sweaty mess. It's a proper muggy day in the lakes today. There's low cloud. I've got my waterproofs on because it looked like it could rain, but I'm actually sweating buckets as well. <laughs> so yeah, as this vlog goes on, I might become a bit of a, a bit of a mess, so apologies in advance for that. I'll make up for it with some decent images, hopefully. <laughs> so you don't have to look at this for too much. <laughs> the one good thing about the conditions today is that because we've got that cloud coverage all over, there's not a really a break in the cloud at all. The light is really soft and even, which is great for kind of portrait -y type shots. So if I get some shots of June today, she's gonna look even better than she usually does because of this light. Um, landscape wise, it's not ideal, but I'm hoping maybe by as the day goes on, there might be a bit of a break or a bit more contrast in the sky, because at the minute it is pretty flat, which like I say, is good for portraits, but not so good for landscapes, unless there's some heavy editing involved in Lightroom afterwards, but we'll see how we get on. I'm, I'm quietly confident we'll get some nice landscapes today. So because of the conditions today, the light's flat, the cloud cover is very low on the fell tops. I'm aiming to get some dramatic scenes of the clouds moving through the fells. So I'm basically ignoring the foreground, punching in on the top of each of the fells and try and wait for a point when the cloud moves through the fells and makes a really dramatic scene. So hopefully we can get some of them types of shots today. Won't be much foreground images, not many wide angle shots, be uh, hammering the telephoto, either my 18 135 that you've got on now, or my 70 to 200 which is in the bag, which is itching to get out. But as you can hopefully see, the light is starting to do its thing a little bit, it's starting to get a bit better, but it's still very, very flat. I 
I did warn you, I would start looking like a mess the further this video went on, so apologies again. <laughs> As I'm walking up down by the riverside, I've spotted a shot that I love to take when I'm out in the lakes or anywhere with the camera. And that's a lone tree on a fell side with some more fells behind it. So there's, you've got the isolation of the tree on its own, but then you've got the layers behind it. And the first layer that you'll see in this upcoming shot, there's not a lot going on, but in the third layer behind, it's all misty, it's rolling through the fells, low cloud, just looks really dramatic. So I'm hoping in the edit I can really up that drama and get that shot looking really good because I think that's got incredible potential for an image. So yeah, hopefully if I've managed to pull out the bag in the edit, I'll show you that shot now. But yeah, a really good walk. I'm liking this a lot. I'll definitely be coming back. So it looks like I'm getting a bit of good luck today because there's been a sudden break in the clouds and whereas before the foreground everywhere was just flat and dull and nothing going on suddenly it's all kicked off as light flashing across the foreground everywhere so I'm going to quickly get this camera down switch it over to photo mode and get some shots because I'm looking straight up the valley and the light is looking fantastic well worth a shot so quick swap over I need to get that picture Oh yes, that light is really kicking off now. We're getting a bit of blue sky as well, which breaks up that cloud coverage a little bit. But yeah, that light is just being really dramatic across the foreground now. I'm still punching in to the fells uh, to get that kind of punched in because it's not lighting up all the foreground. And I am really liking what I've just shot. I think I've got some good ones there to share for this video. And we're punching into the mountain ranges. Forgive me, I'll have to check afterwards which ones I'm, I've been shooting there so I'll insert that into the video here and yeah it's just looking really good it just shows like at the start of the day it looked grey, hazy, miserable and now I mean look at that it's looking very good and the longer this walk goes on the more I'm thinking I definitely need to dip in that water because it is so hot <laughs> I am melting and it's not even fully sunny yet. It's just so humid and warm. But yeah, heading towards the light. So for anyone who knows me will know that I do not like swimming in open water. So in the sea or streams like that usually. So I am well happy with myself that I did it this time. I said at the start of the video that I wanted to do it. I wanted to do it, I didn't want to chicken out. And it was bloody good, it wasn't even that cold, I was really surprised. Liar, liar, pants on fire! And uh, as you can see, June wasn't too keen on getting in. She dipped her toe in, that's usually what I do. June just showed what I would usually do. <laughs> Have a little taste of it and go, nah. But yeah, it was really refreshing, I feel great afterwards. So I might get into wild swimming a little bit now because I really enjoyed that. So anyway, we're gonna head back to the site now. Have a slow walk back. The sun's come out, the blue sky's really coming out nicely now. So I might get a few shots on the way back, but mostly just want to head back and chill out for the rest of the night. So if you enjoyed this video and the shots that I got, hit that like button. Let me know which shot was your favourite. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe. That'd be great. We just hit the 50 subscriber mark, which is awesome. Halfway through the year, we're halfway towards that 100 goal. I'll see you in the next one. I promise there won't be any wild swimming in the next one. <laughs> See ya.